Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by nuclear fission and a chain reaction. You should then be able to describe how nuclear fission may be controlled or uncontrolled. And finally, you should be able to describe what happens in nuclear fusion. And all of this is for triple physics students only. So we're going to start by looking at nuclear fission. The first key idea you need to understand is that in some elements, the nucleus is large and unstable. And good examples of these are uranium and plutonium. Now, I should point out that this only applies to certain isotopes of these elements. But for the exam, you're not required to name those isotopes. In nuclear fission, the nucleus of these elements splits. Now, this can happen spontaneously, in other words, by itself, but that's quite rare. Normally, for fission to take place, the nucleus first has to absorb a neutron. So, here I'm showing you a number of uranium nuclei. When a uranium nucleus absorbs a neutron, this triggers a nucleus to undergo fission. In other words, split like this. When the nucleus splits, it forms two smaller nuclei, roughly equal in size. Scientists call these the daughter nuclei. It also emits two or three neutrons plus gamma radiation. Energy is also released during the fission reaction. For example, all of the fission products have got kinetic energy. Now, the really important part about this process is what happens to the neutrons emitted during fission. The neutrons can now be absorbed by more uranium nuclei and trigger fission again like this. And again, when these nuclei undergo fission, they emit two or three more neutrons each, and these can then go on to trigger fission themselves. So in a very short time, a huge number of uranium nuclei have undergone fission, and an enormous amount of energy has been released. Scientists call this a chain reaction, and it's really important that you learn that. Now, scientists can control the fission chain reaction and use the energy released to generate electricity. We find this in nuclear reactors. However, the explosion in a nuclear weapon is caused by an uncontrolled fission chain reaction. Okay, so we've seen what happens in nuclear fission, but what about nuclear fusion? This is a totally different process. In nuclear fusion, two light nuclei, for example hydrogen, are joined to form a heavier nucleus. Some of the mass of the nuclei can be converted into energy, and that's released as radiation. Now, nuclear fusion is the process that releases energy in stars, such as the sun. It's important to understand that nuclear fusion is not a chain reaction. We only use that expression when talking about nuclear fission. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on nuclear fission and on nuclear fusion in my vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by nuclear fission and a chain reaction. You should then be able to describe how nuclear fission may be controlled or uncontrolled. And finally, you should be able to describe what happens in nuclear fusion.